Good morning from Rovaniemi railway station in Finnish Lapland. Today's plan is to take a daytime intercity train towards Helsinki. Today we will be traveling in the compartment above the restaurant car. This is neither first class or second class. The best way to describe it is probably as a hybrid product. While the seats are closer to extra class, which is the first class offering, there's no complimentary service here. But the seats do come with a surcharge compared to standard class. Our train is parked on the far platform today. It has come up from Helsinki yesterday evening and has stayed overnight here, ready to perform the first train south of the day. The train is Intercity 24 starting here in Rovaniemi and going to Helsinki via Seinäjoki and Tampere. Our traction today is provided by a shiny new Siemens Vectron locomotive, pushing six double-decker Intercity carriages. Our train is 178 meters long and will be able to complete the trip to Helsinki in just about 8 hours. Intercity 24 takes us on the 902 km journey to Helsinki via Kimi and then continues to Oulu at speeds of up to 200 km per hour. We'll pick up the speed and head further south towards Seinäjoki before finally arriving in Tampere. After a short stop in Tampere, where I will end my journey, the train continues south towards Helsinki. Let's go and find our seat. We'll now be heading into the restaurant car. While the lower floor has the normal things you would expect from a restaurant car, with the kitchen and seating areas, uh, the top floor is quite different in Finland where there's this seating area which is like this hybrid product between first class and second class. And what's really cool is these seats facing the window. They do come at a charge compared to standard class, but for an 8 hour journey to Helsinki with beautiful snowy scenery, I think this will definitely be worth it. At the end there's a special compartment which can be rented for groups or companies traveling for business to have meetings or anything else. I have reserved seat 201, which is the one right at the end here. At the opposite end of the carriage you will find a phone booth to have your loud phone conversations, some luggage storage if it doesn't fit in the rack above the seat, and the toilet. As the train came straight from the depot, this was very clean, but it remained so during the trip. Let's have a look at the rest of the train. I shot this before we departed from Rovaniemi and that's why it's still empty. This is the restaurant car. It opened on departure and was first serving breakfast, then later you could have your lunch 
and maybe an early dinner before arriving in Helsinki. The next car is a bit of an everything car, with a children's play area on the top, which we will look at later. Accessible toilets, huge luggage space, space for wheelchairs and prawns, some standard class seats, and out here is some bicycle storage and some locked luggage storage, as well as a children's compartment at the end here to the left. Next up is a normal passenger carriage, which at the end features these compartments for standard class. In normal times you could select one of these at no additional cost, but with the whole pandemic going on, there's now a search search for them. Most intercity trains in Finland features these seats with various seat fabrics. There are many different kinds running around and often more than one kind in one train. This is one of the older ones, but they are about equally comfortable. You can check out my review of the standard class seats by clicking the link in the top right corner. And here's a standard class wagon with some of the newer seats. As mentioned earlier, let's have a look at the children's area. Almost all intercity trains in Finland features one of these as long as they are operated by the double-decker carriages. It's free to select a seat here. Do you know any other double-decker trains which has a slide on it? If you're more bring your bike type over bring your kit type, don't, don't worry, the train's also got you covered. And when the hunger hits, you can enjoy a nice meal while cruising through the countryside. The scenery is not that impressive along the railway line. This part of Finland is mostly flat with either forest, villages or open fields. However, it does all look very pretty in the snow. Here we join the railway line from Vasa in Senajoki. Vasa is an important coastal town located on the Bothnian Bay, while Senajoki is now a very important railway town, with the line north from Oulu arriving in here and continuing south towards Tampere and Helsinki, as well as the line from Vasa and the line towards Jyväskylä. This is one of the beautiful things about railway travel that I really like. You get to see what life is across a big part of a country and how it changes you have a quick look at some of the smaller and more unknown parts of the world. Being out of the window and just listening to music makes the time go really quickly. And before long we were approaching Tambora, where I would end my journey today. The Finnish intercity trains offer a great way to travel across the country in great comfort with all the amenities you need and a little more. The trains offer great value even on longer distances. The 6 hour 20 minute journey today to Tampere starts at 27 euros for standard class seat. If you want to sit in the upper deck of the restaurant car like I did, it's 10 euros on top of that. Personally for a trip of this length, the 10 euro upgrade is worth it. The table space makes it great also if you want to do some work. You can buy your tickets on the website or in the mobile app. You can either print the tickets or show them directly on your phone. You also have the option to buy it from the ticket machine or from the ticket office at some stations. But do keep in mind tickets are more expensive closer to departure and for the best deal you gotta book in advance. 
the Finnish Railway truly have some of the best intercity trains in the world. And if you have the chance to come and experience them, I think you should. If you want to follow my travels in real time, you can follow me on Twitter. And from here in Tambra, I would just like to say thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and give the video a like if you feel like so.